friends welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a reading vlog my first reading vlog for 2024 and it's going to be for the first two books that i'm reading for this year and that is divine rivals and ruthless vows i've heard a lot of things about these books and they're a ya fantasy book and if you don't know what this book is about basically Iris is the main character of this book. She is a, I think, 19-year-old young woman who is figuring out her life, figuring out how to help her family in whatever way she can. Her brother was sent off to war. Her mother is currently suffering in so many ways emotionally from not actually losing her son, but basically losing her son because he went off to war. Yeah, she's basically the only one kind of holding her family together. She is grew up poor, doesn't have many resources in life, but she's an incredible writer. So she works for the local newspaper and she ha happens to have a rival at work. They are both attempting to gain a high position at work and it happens to be the same position. So obviously they're competing against one another. They're both extremely talented writers and they kind of just hate each other for it. You know, they're always keeping each other on their toes, always just bickering and whatnot at work. And she goes through a lot of really crazy things in her life when his life somewhat remains completely stable because he grew up with money he has both of his parents you know he's got resources and everything has kind of been served to him on a silver platter so she also resents him for that yeah they end up having two magical typewriters that connects them one of them doesn't know it's them and then the other does know that it's them so there is kind of that secrecy behind that that they're sending anonymous anonymous letters and falling in love and so, yeah, this book is quite adventurous. In my opinion, there's lots of things that are going on in the background behind their eventual love story from rivals to lovers. So that is gonna be super exciting and I'm happy to take you along with me. So let's go. Hi, Iris. I'm about to go work out and the warm up for my workout, I usually just like walk on the treadmill for like 20, 30 minutes and I thought, a good way to get some reading in since I usually walk at like a pretty slow pace it's between like a 2.5 and 3 miles per hour I'm gonna read on my Kindle while I walk for my warm-up so I can get some reading in it could be nice and like a Kindle so portable and yeah so excited see you guys later <laughs> to say the nicknames that she comes up for him because of his middle name starting with a c makes me laugh every time hello friends happy wednesday it is almost 5 p.m and i'm about to go work out and as i mentioned yesterday i'm gonna be doing the same thing so i usually as a warm-up for my workout walk on the treadmill for like 30 minutes 20 30 minutes maybe i'm gonna go for 40 today but Anyway, yesterday was the first time that I used my Kindle to read on the treadmill and it was actually really fun. I didn't walk at a super fast pace. I walked at like a 2.5, 2.8 for the most part, but I walked 30 minutes and it went by super fast. Like I actually went a little over 30 minutes because I was like, oh my God, I need to keep reading <laughs> just because the book was getting really good. And I think I'm about 20% of the way done with the book and I don't really have plans tonight or anything I already basically prepped my entire dinner so it's like once I finish my workout I'm just gonna prepare my dinner and then shower get ready for the night and then basically just read so come along with me to do that <laughs> Yeah, making good progress. I hope to finish it by the end of the day Friday. Then I think I'm getting 
ruthless vows in the mail tomorrow hopefully if not latest by friday so i can start reading it either then or on saturday and then finish possibly over the weekend but who knows so yeah that's exciting let's get to reading <laughs> Thursday and I'm gonna keep reading on my physical book. I am gonna go to sleep by like 9 30 so I'm gonna have like an hour to read. So yeah hey, Bruce. <laughs> It's describing like the town near where the war is and how it's described. Does it remind anyone else of the setting of A Quiet Place? That's kind of what I envisioned in my head when I read the description of the town. But anyway, back to my reading. <laughs> scary hey happy friday hello iris happy friday Mwah. happy friday so i got back from work i think it's like 3 30 right now or something now, honestly today is just gonna be me prioritizing finishing hopefully divine rivals i'm honestly only 40 percent of the way through I like it so far, I don't love it. I do appreciate the description on the background of the war that's going on. I really think that like the background on like the myth of the gods and everything is really cool and I like those stories to be honest because I think like mythology is cool. Like even if that stuff isn't something that we recognize in our, I guess, own history and society, it's like just cool to learn about. And yeah, I like that so far, but to be honest, I feel like the building of their relationship now is almost non-existent. There's definitely stuff there, but it's not as much as I was expecting. But to be fair, I'm still only 40% of the way through, I mean, but considering that's almost halfway done, there's not much going on. But anyway, I'm still enjoying it. No not a love it's a like so yeah i'm just gonna focus on reading it today and hopefully i could finish the last 60 percent of the book and then tomorrow i can hopefully start ruthless vows and potentially finish by sunday or monday Also, I have to say one detail I absolutely love and like the whole background behind it is the reason why the typewriters are magical and like what connects them. I just love that whole little story and detail. So. I just started reading again. I'm now 50% of the way through the book. And I just have to say, it's kind of funny how literally in the last clip that I shot where I was 40% of the way through, through the book and I was saying like, I feel like their relationship wasn't really developed at all and it just seemed like I'm almost 50% of the way through the book, like what's going on here? And especially because of the fact that when people talk about this book, a lot of people like focus on how great and like strong their romance is and like the banter and everything like it's so great like everyone really loves it but no one ever really talks about like what's going on in the background of the book and I feel like that's what I've been enjoying the most to be honest like I feel like every time they give more background on like 
the mythology and the war, like what's going on and like just the reason for why it's happening. I feel like I have really been enjoying just reading about that and haven't really necessarily cared about what's going on between them too. Like it is great. I do love like their conversations, their correspondence. Like I enjoy it, but it's definitely not what's luring me into reading more of this book, you know, but I'm sure it'll, they're, what is going on between them will get stronger and better after this because it already has started picking up a little more between that 40 and 50 percent that I um, had just read but yeah just wanted to give my little two cents there. Okay I now have to admit that their banter is making me giggle because listen to this. Shut up Kit. <laughs> Absolutely. Whatever you want. Now that's a man. Hey you guys, I have now officially finished Divine Rivals and I rated it, this may surprise some people, a 3.5. So to begin my thoughts, I feel like part of the reason I'm reading it a little lower than what a lot of people have, a lot of people this is like their favorite book of 2023 or it's just like one of their favorite books, like five stars for a lot of people, but I feel like it has to do with two things in particular. One, I had really high expectations going into it because of that reason. So I definitely think that influenced like what I was expecting from the book. And second of all, I don't personally think that their relationship and the development of their relationship was as, I guess, passionate as I was expecting like yes their letters were beautiful and cute and sweet and you know the circumstances in which their relationship formed with everything else going around was beautiful and sweet same thing but I don't know it just wasn't I didn't feel anything when you know when they were talking about their relationship and what happened and everything I no emotions were personally invoked on my part and I feel like with all the other books that I read last year that were like romanticies um they just made me feel so many things both positive and negative but like it invoked so much emotion within me and this book did not do that hello again friends I am now reading Ruthless Vows I think I'm like only like 40 something pages into the book so far but so far so good honestly I have a feeling like from already the barely 4D pages that I've read so far that I'm gonna enjoy this book a lot more than I did Divine Rivals. So we're on the come up. I just bought it on my Kindle so that I can go work out and read it on my Kindle. Hello friends, happy Saturday. It's been quite a while since I've last updated you and I am now officially over 50% of the way done with Ruthless Vows. I'm hoping to either finish tonight or tomorrow morning and then upload this video by Sunday night. So that's really exciting. I have to say. So my thoughts so far. Honestly, the beginning of Ruthless Vows, I kind of somewhat had the same feelings. Like, you know, personally, it didn't feel like their relationship, their banter, their romance was as passionate as I was hoping and I was thoroughly enjoying like the background, what was going on, the history, the story, the war, the gods, like everything going on. I was enjoying, it was, you know, heart-wrenching in a way, but certainly didn't invoke as much of, of a strong feeling as a lot of other books do for me. But I do have to say, now that I'm 50% of the way through, I definitely feel like I feel more of a stronger connection to the book. So with everything that they've been through, just with, so I have to say, this is now where the spoilers begin. So if you have not read Ruthless Vows, if you don't plan on reading it anytime soon and don't want any spoilers, this is your chance to leave and just stop watching here because there are gonna be spoilers. So I'm gonna wait like 10 seconds for you to leave. Okay, I hope you're gone by now if you don't want to see spoilers, or if you don't want to hear spoilers. So I think 
with what happened at the end of Divine Rivals where Kit was taken by Dakri, he almost died, he was saved, and Forrest was saving Iris. So, first of all, I was kind of a little upset with the fact that I feel like Iris didn't really fight harder for Kit. Like, if she loved him that much, like, they literally just got married, like, one, she didn't fight harder, and also, like, she didn't seem as distraught as I feel like I would have been if the love of my life slash my husband was being taken away, or I thought he was dead. So, anyway, I was just a little upset at that, but as time went on, I feel like everything that was happening was definitely invoking more of an emotion for me, just, like, feeling her feelings in a way of being upset that he didn't remember her and everything that was happening. And I feel like their banter after that definitely started feeling like more, like I started feeling, I feel like what people were feeling with Divine Rivals, you know what I mean? And so I'm definitely enjoying the book a lot more. I think their banter is even better in this one. And the things that he says once he starts remembering her are like literally so sweet. I'm just like, oh my God. And like, I, I have so many like little sections highlighted that I'm gonna find for you. Okay, so I'm gonna read to you some of the things that I highlighted in the book that I thought were just like, yes. Okay, so chapter 14, hunger, page 118. I highlighted, dear E, the problem is I wanna hear from you at all hours. I wanna read your words. I'm greedy for them. I'm hungry for them. And this is before he starts to remember Iris. So it's just like, you know, the things that he says and the, the way that he feels for her. I get that. Chapter 25. Outshine once again, page 184. Dear Iris, should I be surprised, and this is after he remembers her. Should I be surprised that I was falling in love with you a second time? Should I be surprised that your words found me here, even in the darkness, that I've been carrying your E letters close to my heart like they are a shield to protect me? I know we are no longer rivals, but if we are keeping tally like the old days, you have far outshined me with your wit and your courage, which reminds me of one, of one simple thing, how I love to lose to you. I love to read your words and hear the thoughts that sharpen your mind and how I would love to be on my knees before you now, surrendering to you and you alone. Last one, page 235. No, he shut down the thought. He wouldn't change a thing because if he could, would the two of them still be here bound together by vow and trial and love that crept up on him like ivy on stone? Crazy. Thinking about it, it definitely is. I think I'm feeling more his love for her rather than her love for him just how he feels about her and how strongly he feels a connection towards her even when he didn't remember her as much but anyway as you can tell i'm definitely enjoying this a lot more than divine rivals but i'm only about like 60 percent of the way through so hopefully the next 40 percent really really drives it home for me so i will check in with you guys when i'm done you guys I just finished Ruthless Vows. It is now Sunday morning. I kind of look like a mess right now. I just got on my workout clothes. I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm about to go leave to go play tennis and pickleball with my friends, which is super exciting. But anyway, my thoughts. I ended up rating this book four out of five stars. Honestly, the second half was kind of leaning more towards 4.25 out of five stars, so, but I'm a little more comfortable just leaving it at a 4 out of 5, which is really good compared to my rating for Divine Rivals. I honestly really liked this book a lot more. As I was mentioning before, I just definitely felt a lot more of a connection to their relationship and like how strongly they both felt for each other, especially him for her. Like, I just loved it a lot more. and. Everything towards the end was like so much more heart-wrenching like I truly felt more of a connection to every single character in the book rather than like in the beginning I just I don't know. I never really felt much for anyone previously, but I Have to say the ending was both heart-wrenching in a sad and happy way. So Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. But anyway four to five stars and you guys know my thoughts. So Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.